Hey, that's why they're still around. Uh, you just hear me for a breeze for a second on the video. Couldn't catch my breath, <laughs> dude, man. Focus on the breeze. Focus on staying alive before the fo before the video, man. Your life first. Man, if I was struggling to breathe, I'm a I'm a skinnier guy, so my my breathing would probably be like much worse. I would feel it. I would feel it in my chest and in my heart, especially if it's cold and you're breathing in cold air. Mate, my lungs would be fucking in so much pain. But yeah, like if you, I think a good indication is when you go underwater and you go like the bottom of a pool and you like, um, you know, no, nobody can, like, no, everybody does this, but if you or and can, um, but if you breathe all the energy, breathe all the air out of your body, like from from out of your lungs and your stomach, you sink to the bottom of the, like you sink to the bottom of the pool and you have all the weight of the water like on you and you feel it like on your chest because it's like all the pressure and it's like on your, on your chest. So like if you have like stronger muscles in your chest area and like, you know, your pecs or whatever, then your stomach, you don't feel as much pressure. So then like, it's kind of the same when you, you're like breathing or if you like, if you have something, if you have like a O2 tank or whatever, and you're in the water and you're breathing, you're like underwater, like deep underwater, and it, that pressure is like pushing down on you. And if it's like, if it hurts to breathe, it's because of the pressure. And it's like, if you can build that up, you can't really build up your lungs. They don't, they're not like a muscle. Like, they're, you know, they're kind of, they're like, a, they're like, in a way, they're like a muscle, but they're like internal. So it's not like you can like train them. Actually, you might be able to train lungs, I don't know, but that's, um, I think that also you can kind of like do that to help. I'm just going to explore. We didn't get bad until I got over the hump, then it got really bad. How far are you now? It's just the air gets thinner at 10k feet. Yeah, that's for, yeah, exactly. So it's a bit harder to take full breaths. Yeah. So what do you do? Is there like a technique to do like little breaths? Or do you like take slow, like full breaths? Because like in, um, in astronauts, uh, so when ast I never hang on, I want to listen to the dialogue. Um, so, weight astronauts or, or not even astronauts, like jet fighters, because they have like such high G, um, they, when they, they put it into like a testing, um, like simulation thing, and it's like this thing that just goes around in circles and to increase the G force, and it gets so like, the street G force is so strong that they literally can't breathe. And they have to like do this special technique. I don't know how, but they they go and they like suck up air like as quick as they can. They have to do it faster than like I don't know. I guess uh, I don't know exactly how, but or what the like what the speed is. But they have to do it really quickly to get the air in their lungs because if they take too long, I don't know. I don't know what happens, but it's not good. So they literally have to like because the G forces is like I guess pushing them so hard and. They can't physically like move their body that much or if they like breathe slowly they might get stuck mid breath or they might get stuck like i don't know with no breath maybe i don't know and they gotta like do it really quickly so they can like hold the pressure in their body and stuff it's kind of crazy it's it's different it's not like their air is thin it's just that the g forces but there's different there's crazy like different ways that people breathe under different circumstances, like, you know, like even swimmers, okay. they breathe out underwater. Let's find a way to get into the proving ground. And as soon as they're just above the surface, they they breathe in a huge big breath. But it's probably also like they probably tune themselves to like a little bit of water in their breath as well, because there's no way like you can, as a swimmer, you can like put your head up and not breathe in a little bit of water.
Uh, I'm, where am I? I'm catching up in chat. I don't know where I was. Bit hard to take full breaths. Not much you can do, really. Some people can handle it better than others. You can be in the best shape of your life. Yeah. Understandable. You still have trouble breathing at altitude? 100%. What are you talking about? Is the G-force pushing the blood to legs? Uh, pushing the blood to their legs away from their head. Okay. That's what it is. Pushing the blood to their legs. Right. Because when they're spinning, it goes to the outside. Away from their head. So they pass out. Yeah, that's right. So they need to keep oxygen in. Um, in their in their brain. To keep them conscious. Goal is to keep the blood in your head. Yeah, so they have to use that technique you're talking about. Yeah, to keep the blood. Yeah. Yeah, so it's different like... Re it's kind of crazy like that. That's for the blood. You know, to keep the blood in their head. And that's just for G-forces. And imagine a different technique for like... Different things, different situations. But I wonder, I wonder if there's a different like... Maybe... I wonder if there's any difference between body type because... Thin, like th the air is thinner, but you use air to breathe in and disperse through your body. So if you have a smaller body, or if you have a skinnier body, or if you have less muscle mass, it'll probably take less time, or maybe it's easier for your body to distribute the air, so maybe that might help. Like, I wonder if that's actually even just a fraction of a difference there. Like, if you're a bigger bloke, if you have a lot of muscle mass, if that helps or not. But maybe it like absolutely no difference. But yeah, I wonder. I wonder if there is like a stat like a uh, like a scientific statistic there. Um, another code dream four. I'm just gonna like read through it because I don't. Uh, it's just, I don't really understand what it is. Like, there's too many like metaphors. I'm sure there are metaphors for something, but I grew lighter. Aspects saw shrieked and died. Even the virtual hideousness, they died. Everything died. Unknown. It's upon the brow. If I had written fiend, the world was the world was void. So this is talking about like the war, like the ashes that she was talking about. Probably was as powerful was a lump. Seasonless, helpless, treeless, manless, lifeless. Lump of death, chaos of hard clay. The rivers, lakes, and ocean all stood still. Okay. Nothing stirred within their silent steps. Running at the sea. The mass fell upon the price mills, they dropped, slept on the abyss without a surge. The weaves were dead. The waves were dead, the tides were in their grave. The moon, the mistress, had expired before. Winds were withered in their stagnant air and dark. Clouds perished, the darkness had no need. The aid from the she was the universe. So, yeah. The wind withered in the stagnant air and the clouds perished because there wouldn't be no... There'd be no air, no clouds because the atmosphere was fucked up. So that's why the clouds perished, and the clouds and atmosphere keep away sunlight. So I guess there was probably very little darkness. Well, I guess that's not true because the rotation of the Earth. So there would always be darkness, but aid from the she was the universe. Okay, maybe she is Gaia. I don't know. I was thinking like, because the atmosphere is like. A protection barrier against like ozone. Well, let's hope it holds the answers we seek. Against like you know ozone and uh, UV rays. So still. Yeah. It's one of those machines. Oh shit. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. Uh, I need I need the uh fucking things of off it. I need the fangs. So it's actually. Good opportunity here. Uh, not sure if your body type has anything to do with that. It'd be interesting to see. I've heard that people that live in a higher altitude have a lower mortality rate. Like when when they're climbing. Okay. Not sure why that is. Probably something to do with the, bo uh, the body working a bit harder. So you're more active by default. Yeah, like if you get used to the air, your body is used to it. It's like adapting somehow. So maybe that's to be a point to research, right? Like, um, like why do those people? Well, what kind of what, what does your body do to the? What does your body do when you're living in high altitude to adapt? Whatever that is, that that help. Did I knock them both off?
Oh, maybe I didn't need three. <laughs> Oopsie. Wow, 1,400? Holy shit. Did I miss that? I love, I love that she's so like, she's so naive and new, we should be able to get into testation Ivy now. and she's so like, uh, I guess closed off, and she doesn't know how to do combat, so everything is like amazing to her, but she's also very, what the hell? metal flower, component tear, 25%, enemy got the circulator, dope, hell yeah bro, what's this here, range defense, carrying one of the metal flowers, is that how they've been distributed? From these machines? Ah, okay, that could be a way. Yeah, it makes sense. Because how would they get up into like high places? They're dropped by Dreadwings. At least I've got two more fangs, that's dope. I think I needed that. Uh, do I need an Apex Heart from one of those? I think I did. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. Dude, it's kind of crazy to see Furrow, a Furrow lab that's got actually got life in it. You know, considering it's like the opposite of what they did to the world. They destroyed all life, made it barren, like out, like how it is outside, compared to in here. Feeding the world. Tal Aquino, Greenhouse, September 2047. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I also see class. Yes, Elon Musk actually says that too. Or has said that at least before. But you're supposed to understand the trick once it is done. When the curtain pulls back and reveals the mirrors, yeah, I still have no idea how he achieved this act of some scientific conjuring. It's not just the speed at which the projects have come together or the stability of results, despite the complexity of the bioengineering. Uh, it isn't even a huge variety of crops that we can now... What? Wait. It isn't even a huge variety of crops that can now be made more heat, drought, and disease resistant. It's the simple fact that all these results are tangible. No announcements in scientific journals. No celebrating predictions born from simulations. Our research has become manifest in physical artifacts. Regime took root in a abandoned industrial site four years ago. Now stands raw, uh, uh, now stands, wait, now there stands a row upon row of automated fuzz farming units, each of which can conduct gene manipulation in the field, the actual field. These robots, these robots analyze soil composition, light intensity, temperature, wind speed, and a hundred other factors. Then utilizing the gene sequence we created, they can select or construct a plan to produce the best yields for that location. Huh, okay. Of course, all of the crops these units create are best harvested by other FAS machines. When a population is starving, what government is going to quibble about being forced to use our robots to speed things up? Should I be uncomfortable? Watching Ted Farrow's coffers swell with money from the desperate of the starving, maybe? But I know that is his belief. Money and drive that fill the world's empty stomachs. Desperation can only be experienced by the living. And we have given them back their lives. Us, our work. Pharaoh's resources, science is... Wait, Pharaoh's resources, science is triumph. Together we can have changed it. So I think this is... 2047, right? If I remember correctly, Pharaoh actually saved the world. I think it was from starvation, right? So what they're talking about here is how he used gene manipulation to create crops and all that sort of stuff. And that's when he was named like, you know, the savior of the world or whatever, which we know from the first game. But I don't remember what year it was, but 2047 is pretty far away from 2065 or whatever when the war happened.
Just living at altitude? No, just climbing. Uh, oh, not just climbing? Okay. Hmm. Just in general, huh? Mortality rate. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, right? Because, like, the way I think about it... The way I think about it is, like... The body, the body can only multiply blood cells so many times and thus after, you know, however many, you know, thousands or millions or whatever of, of splits of the blood cell, um, eventually that's how you kind of get old and your health deteriorates, you know, and stuff like that. So the body can only uh, work for so long until it gets, you know, unhealthy or old, right? So if the body is working harder, right? If you if you're in an environment where you're you're you know getting less air and your body's working more, you know it's, your body's struggling more to you know feed your body, you know feed the air to your lungs, to your body, to your blood vessels for blood cells to multiply. That means if it's working harder, to me, if it's working harder, then it's multiplying more, which means you should be like your lifespan will decrease a little bit but the fact that it's working harder might actually work in its favor in the essence like basically instead of thinking about it as quality i uh, sorry instead of thinking about it as, as quantity of you know it's you know your blood says your blood cells or whatever your body can only do a trillion cells in, in your lifetime and the quicker that is you know the quicker you die it's more of the quality of you know your 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 body right like when you have muscle like when you build muscle right like your muscles not aging quicker it's like g gaining quality right and then as you like age like you still have that muscle if you keep it up and yes it decreases but you know it's like the it's like the idea of like if someone does nothing but lays around and sleep or, or rest for 50 years or for their whole life you know how long will they live compared to someone who works out like every day you know, it's that kind of like argument. Like, what makes you live longer? Like, working out and how and, and building healthy body, or having your body work less. It's kind of a. Um, I'm not sure if there's any scientific like debates around that, but it'd be cool. Where's the girl? Where's uh, what's her name? Alva. Kind of sounds like Alpha, but anyway, let's proceed. Exactly that's what I'm thinking too, but somehow it's lower mortality. Yeah, it's I don't know how it works, man. The body works mysterious ways, I guess. Another log. We're done in every way. The reeds work. Cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. If I change skills, actually, sorry to interrupt the dialogue, but if I change skills, will it turn off my... What will it do? No, okay. Wow, so they were actually working on this during the swarm. Huh. I guess that's why they made the, uh... The vines. Disillusion code module, okay. We get that for our spear, Please finally. We have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. Dude, where is she? Is she like stuck? I'm gonna try and find her and get her out if she's stuck. She was like on top of a... Is she like stuck in the combat animation still? What the fuck? Hello? Oh, she's stuck, man. Is she? Looks like she's stuck. What the hell? I didn't even... What the fuck? Okay. 
Oh man, that sucks. Why is she stuck? We shouldn't linger here. Yeah, we shouldn't. Let's go. Oh! There we go. Did I put that in her back? Okay, there we go. It worked. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> put an explosive spike in her back, dude. That's not, that's not going to make a move. I don't know what is, man. <laughs> she, the way she reeled back, it actually like made me flinch. Uh, uh, you fixed now. Let's go. I got you. I got you good uh, chiropractor. <laughs> Oh, fuck it hell. Alright. Alright, it was a power shot too, because my skill is still active. Oh, that's funny. You know what? It's, it's kind of annoying me, so I'm just gonna... There we go. It does, like, it does like this effect on the screen and the sound. It's just like... Whatever. Listen to the music. It gives me like Last of Us vibes. The guitar. Majane Nafisi has resigned. Majane's letter is with great regret. It is with regret that I resign. I share the regret, Majane. You said the excellent deputy, but no single person is above the team or the project. I came to create life, not to destroy it. As we have achieved together, I did not expect such lack of vision. Yes, our research has shifted direction, but biomass conversion is no different than burning wood into a, in a stove or distilling ethanol from molasses. Is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically? Is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically? So, like, capturing solar energy through through plants, because plants. So basically, um. What do they what do they call it when the plants absorb the sun? Uh man, photosynthesis. There we go. Basically, is that kind of what it is? Photosynthesis, how they absorb salt, absorb the uh, solar energy, absorb the sunlight. There are military applications for this technology, but that does not mean there there is a logical moral argument against biomass conversion itself. To say so is emotional petulance, plain and simple. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. That is very true. Our technology fires, surpasses our, our reasoning to use it. Or our wisdom to use it or not use it. From the first standard letter with a quotation made it a direct attack. Childish, disappointing, personal. Any sadness I might have had about her departure with me in that moment. Wish her luck with whatever position she's able to find, but the greenhouse will conti continue and all the stronger now that it is free from such narrow thinking. I'll sum up with another quote, one better suited to the circumstances. Nothing in life is to be feared, it is only to be understood. Now's the time to understand more. Now is now's the time to understand more so that we may feel less. Mary Curie. Greenhouse from Marjorie's letter. Wow. This is Tala Aquino's personal log. She was a bit of a dickhead. Penance, plain and simple. Is free from such narrow thinking. I mean, all she said at the start was, I came to create life, not destroy it. So I wouldn't say it's like that bad. I wouldn't say that she was like, deserves those kind of nasty comments, man. have to climb up right behind you you good okay hopefully you can still climb with a big spike in the back but I don't see it on you so should be fine how does she climb up does she climb up good oh shit look at her she's an actual beat oh you're going the wrong way lady there you go there you go no up right yep oh shit okay she actually done that a big leap okay we can use the line to get down. Uh, right. Easy. She's so cute. It's a shame that she's gonna go home, man. Kind of don't want her to go back. Oh, you better make haste. 
<laughs> After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. Good to know. So we're gonna fight our way out of reinforcements. That's what I took from that. A girl mad annoying, shoot her in the face, dude. She's a, she's cute, man. She's like, she's so like uh, hesitant for everything, man. He's not like a crazy badass. Finally, we got the vine cutter. Holy shit! All right, so every time we come across these now, we can actually unlock these. Dude, shoot her in the face. Do you see what I did before? This before she was like on a on a lead like on a rock like this when we were fighting the dreadwing, which was easy peasy by the way. But she got stuck in a yeah. You saw okay. She was like I, I just literally threw a friggin' explosive spike in the back. I think it, I actually think it went through her character model because obviously it's not in her back anymore, and it didn't blow up. So I think it went through her character model and like glitched out and then just went nowhere, and it made her move. Is she, is she gonna comment about the glide wing? That'd be cool if she does that. Okay, no. Return the data core, like back to the. No. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Cool. Let's hope this new module works. Man, it takes to open a middle flower. I just got a melee attack yet. Ah. It's kind of cool looking. Let's see if the software works. So it like ah, so it literally like from the bottom of the canister it just like sprouts it's all vine cut on my Fine. clear now. Okay. Three times? Yeah, I know I was just looking. Cause it like I was gonna I wanted to see how it like how it comes out. Like if it came out I thought there would have been like something like like in a in a canister or something like something see-through that was in there maybe but it comes out like the bottom of the tube it's like moss and then it comes out as vines the data core looks intact. oh Demeter the god of seasons let me just do a quick google search god of I know her that she's uh goddess of agriculture. No, I think that's not as accurate as I think. Goddess of agriculture, yes, but isn't it sea? Oh no, Pers uh, is it Persef Not Persephone. Is it Persephone that's seasons? Yes, it is. Persephone is a god of seasons, a goddess of seasons. Yeah, so uh, agriculture. I thought she was uh, a little bit more aggressive than that, because in um, like in the Hades game, in the in the roguelite, she's like, like all icy. She's like the one who caused basically the ice age. So I think it's more than agriculture. I think she has power like over the weather as well a little bit. But maybe I'm wrong. Demeter. Elizabeth Silver, Alpha Prime. 
Master override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. Oh, her focus. We're gonna give her a spare focus. What did you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives, almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this, but we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about... <laughs> Alba, hold your fire. By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her! Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An oh, she knows! Yo! Fucking sick! Diviner. We should bring the ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you. Meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but... Uh... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Oh, so she's going to join our group. Man. Should have been a nice addition. She's like... Like, every... every, every I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. She's like the little I sister of the She'll be like the little sister of the group. Back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Oh yeah, dude. Fucking sick shit. Oh, it's gonna be mad. She'd be like the little sister of the of the group, but also probably the most knowledgeable one in a weird way. Because like everyone in our group at, at back of base is a bit of a hard ass, right? Like you get Aaron, you know, he's got his fucking massive hammer, he's a basically a dwarf. And they're drunk, and then you got Catalo, who's basically a friggin' war general. Probably the best fighter, most, best combat, most combat experienced amongst all of them. Then you got Val and uh, Zoe. Yeah, everyone's pretty. You know what? I'm gonna go here actually to see uh, what's down here. What's crazy is that. Oh, so there's different test sites, I see. So. That's the site. That's the campsite. That's the yeah. And then we fought the we fought the thing. I I think in this one maybe. What's and we got a workbench through here. Okay. I can't believe thousands of years later it's like still intact. Let's 
So do I... Is there a better way to go in? I guess we just go... Well, maybe we just go through the water? No, because they got that. I don't remember what she said. She said... From the... Where did she say? From the south... Oh man, I wish I fucking remembered the dialogue. She said... We arrived over the great ocean. And so is this like all... Is this like an island here? Or is this like all landmass from like this point? And then we just don't see the edges because it's like the edge of the map. But like... She said great ocean. So it can't be this... Can't be this small. It's gotta be much larger. Um, yeah, I don't remember what she said, but she said she landed and there's like whirlpools or like there's waves that are vicious. I think she said, did she say south? Uh, southeast or something? Or... Now what's annoying is that I don't know how to get there. That side. Gotta go through there, cause it's over here. So do I have to access it to the water? Maybe? I came down from here. Let's try to go through the water. I feel like that's the only way. I got a new, I got another legendary slayer, by the way. I got the, uh, this one, the sun scare. It's a legendary elemental hunter bow. Which is, uh, pretty dope. Uh, so, alright, so let's go. Oh, we can't even go in the water because it's blocked, right? So how the fuck are we gonna get there? I love the designs. It's kind of like elves, like elf, elven. It kind of looks like an elven boat from like Lord of the Rings or something. Man, I'm so, so annoyed to fucking get through there. Like holy shit, I can't. Do I have to go there then? To go all the way around? God damn. Oh, you had to spawn here, man, on the worst. Okay, there we go. At least you got over it. I thought that he was not going to make it over. Because they have. The mounts have trouble getting over, like, the smallest pebble sometimes. Alright, let's actually manual manual save because we've done a lot of story stuff. I kind of wish there was a new, like a new robot that's like equivalent in speed because this is like the fastest ro override robots are like the charges and all that, and they're from the first game. And the new ones, like the Claw Strider, is literally like a raptor and it's so slow. And then the Bristleback, they're slow. Image of the old world. The building in front of the cliffs has the Thero logo on it. Oh, 
usually there's like a lookout. So it's possible that it's over here. Calling but Billy. I'm not sure. I climb up there? No. I see shit because it's dark time and there's so many trees. Faro. Faro building. I don't want to scan. Tug will be the point. Okay. Looks like plasma without it. Hmm. Based on the angle of the building, maybe the image was taken somewhere along the coast. Oh my God! I legit just give you the answer. Okay. I didn't think it was gonna be that far, but. Guys, doing something over there. I wonder how the rip the rip thing would go here. Rope caster. Will it overtake? Will it overtake the ice? No, it doesn't, okay. Like not see me now for some reason. What the hell? Doing seven damage? Holy shit! Now, what weapon is it that does extra damage to shock? Shock enemy damage. That one and. Okay, shock enemy damage, but not yet. So it's the bottom one. Shock enemy damage. Which pairs well with this, I suppose. Down it go. And now it's in. 
Oh, it's an adhesive. Okay, nice. Shot. Damn it. <laughs> In mid air. Sludge, great. I wanted to try and get elemental, uh, elemental machine core or whatever, but not sure if I could. Not sure I actually got it. Okay, so perhaps here. At the top of those cliffs, have a good view of the Pharaoh building. Okay, a this doesn't look right. Maybe I should Frost. try somewhere higher. Snap more, I pick snap more, which I think I need. Why are they weak to fire? Okay. I guess if Fistus was busy making hunter killers. Trying to get a good angle of his tail first, and then going, going for the actual fight. But I know double shot can be quite inaccurate. So I kind of want him to turn around. There we go. Oh, there's a shell snapper over there, an apex one as well. There goes a piece. Again.
What the fuck? Where did you come from, bro? Are you kidding me? Okay, slow now. Slow down, and so I can actually hit you. So I've only got one hit left to actually get the tear off. And I've got a shell snapper behind as well. Okay, nice fight, nice fight. Moving on, lots of loot. I might get this shell snapper. Uh, ice and acid, plasma generator, shield, sparker, shield attack, processing capsule, shell bolt. That's what I need. Kinetic dumbo, refining core. Sack webbing. There's the large potion. Is there any mediums? No, I've only got large, okay. Primary nerve, okay. This one might be really annoying to fight because it's an apex and they're already naturally annoying. No, oh, I got him. I thought I was going to hit the ice. Coming out, buddy, or what? Yeah. 
No! I want to use down, not that. Oh well. So much shell stamp balls now. Doesn't know where to go, man. Dude, again? Underground? Oh my god, bro. It kind of spams like this. It's not doing anything, man. You're not doing anything to, like, help win, to, like, you know, destroy me. He's not making any progress in defeating me, and I'm not making any progress in defeating him. It's kind of. It's just like a waiting game. It's like. It like makes everything just slow. Is he still looking at me? And I've broken line of sight. Shit, okay, that was a good one. Now we can use the uh, large shields. What, uh, what's the canister again? Shock? Oh my god. <laughs> 